Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Jar Productions, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to add buttons inside of a scrolling frame using InDesign and N5. Here's an example of a page that includes a scrolling frame containing multiple images. These images are being used as buttons that the user can click to show a larger image. Let's jump over to InDesign to see how to set it up. I've got the layout mostly set up. I've got a multi state object, or MSO, set up with three of the larger images. I'll add an empty state so that none of the images appear until one of the buttons gets clicked. To add the empty state, I'll go to the Object States panel menu and select Add Empty State. N5 adds a small rectangle with no stroke and no fill to the object state because an object state must have some kind of content on it. To the left of the MSO, I have some images and text. I'll select all three of the images and turn them into buttons. I'll give the first one an action to go to state, set it to our MSO, and set its corresponding state, and do the same for the other two buttons. To make the scrolling frame, I'll group the content, cut it, expand the rectangle where I want to put it, and paste it into the rectangle. I'll go to N5 Interactive Widgets Scrolling Frames and set the direction to vertical. Let's save and export. I want you to see what happens. I can see that my scrolling frame lets me scroll through the content and I get a changed cursor that looks like I can click on the button and I'm clicking, but nothing is happening. Let's go back to InDesign to see what happened. I'm going to expand the scrolling frame rectangle to expose the group inside. When I click into the group on the top button and look in the Buttons and Forms panel, I can see that it's still a button, but the action is gone. What happened? Well, in the process of making the scrolling frame, I cut and pasted the group. When you copy or cut and then paste a button in InDesign, the actions don't get copied. So how can we add our actions? Let's add them now while the group has already been pasted into the frame. Because I've already clicked into the group and have the button selected, I can set it up here. Or I can go to the Layers panel, twirl open the frame and the group, select the buttons from here, and then add the actions. Now I'll resize the frame that has scrolling frames applied. Then I'll save and export again. Now when we click on the small images that we set up as buttons in the scrolling frame, we can see its corresponding image appear in the MSO. Let us know in the comments how you might use buttons inside scrolling frames in your N5 exported content. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.